Okay, so hello, hello, and welcome back to part two of the gemstones of the good Dhamma. So let me just see. We're sitting here at the Kuti with the big Buddha behind us up on the mountain, and the stupa just to left of my avatar and if we zoom in a little bit you can see that today I put out the sitting cloth over here let me just show you I'm gonna stand up then I'm gonna try to walk over here oh check it out it's a new sign <laughs> sign, ca sign came out today and Maybe those of you who saw the video from yesterday on 8.21, you remember there was a little lamp in here and another cushion. And I was right, someone had put it in there and they removed it again. I think um, it was by mistake. But it's all good. I mean, it was a, it was a friend of mine. And now he actually lives just over there in that kuti. And there's another guy who just moved in there in that kuti as well. And yeah, it's a little bit, and that's the main temple. We still have to go and visit that at some point. And there's a kuti over there, and there's the art studio, I think. And there's uh, another Buddha and the waterfall. And there's the moon. Looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Looks funny. Okay, so let's not to play around too much. I just wanted to show around. And let's continue from yesterday. So yesterday I sat up here uh, by the big Buddha. We can walk up here again. homage to the Buddha. We could go like this. And then we can, we can do it like this and we can say Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa And for a third time Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Homage to the Blessed One, the Worthy One, the Perfectly Self-Enlightened One Sato Sato And so, today we are going to make the video recording over here at my kuti. The kuti I'm staying in. And I put out this white sitting cloth. It's a little bit special to me. And it's on this uh, blanket with all these details, yellow and orange blanket. And so today I am going to sit like so. Now I am in the first person. Whoop! <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let me see if I go like this. This looks fine. And we can just and make a nice picture here. Maybe if I go a little bit like that. And like so. Like so. And okay, this should be fine. I think. Okay, 
So yeah, let's get into the reading and we're continuing today um, with part 6, the Wachawaga on speech. And yesterday we just finished off with the Silawaka virtue. And the text we're reading from is the same text, Gemstones of the Good Dhamma, the Satthama Maniratana. And if you're watching this video, you should be able to find a link just below in the description. If you want to follow along and read the Pali in English, um, you're very welcome to do so. And let me just find where we left off. Everything seems alright. And it's already night time. Maybe we could sunset. Let's put it to sunset. That's smart. <laughs> And then we we'll go from sunset into night time. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to start reading now with the part 6, uh, verse 46. The Wacha Waka on speech. Puri Sasa, Hija Tasasa, Kuttari Jayate Muke, Yaya Chintati Atana. Palo tupa sita pana. Every fool who is born has an axe within his mouth, with which he cuts himself when he uses wrong speech. Tang ewa wachang pasea, yai atanang na tapaye. Pare cha na wihimseya sawe wacha supasita. One should utter only words which do no harm to oneself and cause no harm for others. That is truly beautiful speech. In verse 48. Pia wachang, ewa, pasea, ya wacha, patinata, patinatita, yang anataya, papani, paresang, basate, pia. Speech, speak kind words, words rejoiced at and welcomed, words that bear ill will to none. Speak kindly to others. Tasewa tena papio yo kutang patikuyati kutang apatikuchanto sankanang jeti du jayang. The worst of the two is he who, when abused, retaliates. One who does not retaliate wins a battle hard to win. Jayang we manyati palo, wachaya parusang pana. Jayanch, jayanchev asatang hoti. Ya, tik, ya titika wichan nato. The fool thinks he has won a battle when he bullies with hard sp harsh speech, but knowing how to be forbearing alone make m makes one victorious. And number 51, verse 51. Yang samano bahu basati upitang atasmahi. Tang Janang so Tamang de Seti Janang so Bahu Bahat Basati. When the recluse speaks 
much it is only to speak about the goal knowing he teaches the Dhamma and knowingly he speaks much Yuwe na piatati patwa Parisang ukaha watinang Na cha apiti wachanang Na cha chatri sasanang If one addresses those who wish to learn without wavering, imparting understanding, opening and not obscuring the teaching Asantitang cha pahanati Puchito na cha kupati Sawe tarisako piku Tuteyang kantung arahati Speaking without hesitation nor getting angry when asked a question A monk like this it is worthy to proclaim the teachings Napa samanang janati misang palehi pantitang pasamanang ja janat jananti tesen tang amatang parang pasaye jotaye tamana takane Isinang Taja. If he does not speak up, others know him not. He is just like he is just a wise man mixed up with fools. But if he speaks about and teaches the deathless, others will know him. So let him light up the Dhamma, let him lift the sage's banner high. Yang buto pasati wachang kemang nipanapatiya dukas antakiri riaya sawe wachanang uttana. The Buddha speaks words that lead to the winning of security, the ending of sorrow, and the attaining of nibbana. Truly, this is the speech supreme. And this concludes part uh, number six on the speech, the Wachawaka. And now we continue on to part number six, number seven, uh, with verse fifty-six, the Bogawaka, the wealth, uh, the chapter on wealth. Number fifty six Jiwate Wapi Sapanya Api Wittaparikaya Panchaya Cha Al Alabena Wittawapi Na Jiwati. The wise man continues to live even if he should lose his wealth, but the rich man without wisdom is not alive even now. Appakena pit metawi Papatena wichekano Samutapeti atanang Anung akiwa santamang Starting off with little wealth, the wise man skillfully increases it just as a sudden draft of wind can make a spark or a fire go grow. And verse number 58 Susang vi hi ta kamandang kalu tayang atan titang sape po kapiwa tan Kawo Sao Sapam Wa Kawo Sao Sapawima If 
He plans his project well, rises early and works untiringly. All his wealth will increase, like cows pinned in with a bull. Pantito si la sampano, jalang akiwa bahas basati, boke sam haramanasa, pamara sewa iriato. One who is virtuous and wise shines forth like a like a blazing fire, like a bee. Collecting nectar, he acquires wealth by harming none. That was an awesome verse. I'm just going to read the Pali and English one more time for verse 59. Pantito sila sampano, jalang akiwa pasati, boge. Samhara Manasa Bahamara Sewa Iriato One who is virtuous and wise shines forth like a blazing fire, like a bee collecting nectar. He acquires wealth by harming none. Chattuda Vipaji Boge Sawe Mittani Cantati Ikena Poke Punchea Tuihi Kamang Payoyati Chatutang Cha Nitapea Apatasu Pawisati He divides his wealth in four and thus he wins friendship. One portion he uses for his needs, two portions for his business, and the fourth portion he saves for times of emergency. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry guys. Let me just catch a little bit to drink here. I think I'm I'm all better now. I'm, I apologize for that, guys. Um, so let me just read the English again for the last verse. <coughs> he divides his wealth in four, and thus he wins friendship. One portion he uses for his needs, two portions for his business, and the fourth portion he saves for times of emergency. Susang Wihitakamatan. That was not the right way to say that. Let me try again. Just a second. Okay. Susang Wihita Kamanta Sankahita Parijana Patu Manabang Jarati Sampatang Anurat Hati Deft and capable at her work in harmony with other people a wife is pleasing to her husband and carefully looks after his wealth Satasilena Sampana Watanju Vitamachara Nichang Makang we so deity Suttanang Samparayikang Endowed with faith and virtue, speaking gently, free from selfishness. Such a woman purifies the pathway leading to a future happiness. Suttanang Siladanang Hiri Uttapiang Danang Sutta danang cha cha kucha pancha we satana dana 
the wealth of faith and virtue's wealth, the wealth of conscience and fear of blame. So here we have that special little thing. Let me just try and make it clear here. It says, the wealth of conscience, conscience and fear of blame. And fear of blame is what we know as hearing. So it's a kind of shame which is not really shame because it's more so fearing um, being blamed for one's action and so it's not real shame because there's nothing to be ashamed of because one has not yet committed anything to be ashamed of so this is kind of a fear of blame before shame arises and this is what we know as hiri because I just um, got a little bit distracted and I thought that it would be interesting to just add um, let me just read this Pali and English one more time we are at verse 63 uh, in part 7 in the Bukawaka on wealth okay so Satta Satta Satatana, Silatana, Hiri Uttapiyang, Tanang, Suttatanan, Cha Cha Kucha, Panya, We Satama, Tanang. The wealth of faith and virtue's wealth, the wealth of conscience and fear of blame, the wealth of learning and giving to, and as the seventh wisdom's wealth. And verse 64 Yasa ittana atti ittia puri sasa wa attalito ti tang ahu amokang dasa jiwitang Those who have these treasures true be they woman or be they man, are not poor or destitute, nor have their lives been lived in vain. Patirupakari Turawa Uttara Vintaretanang Satchena Giting Papodi Tatang Mittani Kantani Whoever acts, strives, and toils shall acquire wealth. By truthfulness one acquires a good repute, and by giving one binds friends. And now we continue into um, chapter 8, the Mitatawaka on friendship. And as the Buddha said to Ananda, when Ananda said, good friends are the half of the holy life the Buddha was a little bit stern and he told his assistant and cared it, I mean the monk who was supposed to look out for the Buddha and he told them no Ananda don't say it like that good friendship are the whole of the holy life and so number eight Mitattawaka on friendship and verse number 66 in Pali he goes like this Asantasa piye hunti santana kurute piyang asantang damang rutjiti tang para pawato mukang to be in communion with the bad and those and choose the ways of the bad to have no friends among the good. This is a source of suffering. Sapya ewa samasetta sapikupeta santawang satang satamang annaye pancha labati nanato. Consort 
only with the good. Come together with the good to learn the teachings of the good. Gives wisdom like nothing else can. And verse 68 in chapter 8 on friendship. Puttimachan kusakena yonaro upanayihat. Kusa piputi vayanti evang palupasevana. If one gives, if one strings a piece of putrid fish on a blade of kusa grass, the gra the grass will soon smell putrid too. The same with one who follows the fool. Um, verse 68 Tekkarancha palasena yonaro uppanayhati patapi surapi vayanti evang tiru pasewana If one wraps frankincense in any ordinary kind of leaf, the leaf will soon smell sweet too. The same with one who follows the wise. Tasma palasaputta seva natva sampatang attano asante nupa seveya sante seveya pantito Remembering the example of the leaf and understanding the results, one should seek companionship with the wise, and never with the bad. And verse 71. Satto patwato mittang mattamittang sakkikare sahayo attajatasa I'm sorry. Huttimitang punna punang sayang katani punjani tang mitang sampara sampara yikang A companion is a traveler's friend, a mother is a friend at home, one who helps in time of need is a good and steady friend and the good deeds done by oneself are one's true friends in time to come so it says here that any good deed that anyone performs such a good deed is a true friend to oneself that's very wise of course I'm not trying to qualify it, but it's something you don't hear often, to be friends with your own actions and have them be your guide. It just struck me as worthy, worth um, taking notice of. And verse 72 Upakaro cha yo mitto yo cha mitto sukke dukke Attakaya cha yo mitto yo cha mittanu kampako A friend who always lends a hand, a friend in both sorrow and joy, a friend who offers good counsel, a friend who sympathizes too. Ette pi mitte chattarava iti vinyaya pantito saka chang pai rupaseya mata puttang wa ora sang. These are the four kinds of two true friends. One who is wise, having understood, will always 
will always cherish and serve such friends, just as a mother tends her only child. Kalyanamitto, yo pikko, sappadeso sakkarava, karang mittanang, vajanang, sampajano pattisatto, papune anuppu pena. Sappa samyo janaki janakayang. The monk who has a lovely friend who pays respect and deference to him, and acts as his friends advises, with mindfulness and comprehension clear, will in time be freed from bonds. All his fetters will be destroyed. And verse 75, and the last one for this chapter 8 on Mittatawaka friendship. Apatita sahayasa. Atitakata satuno. Nati etatisa mitta. Yatakaya kata sati. For one whose friend has passed away. For one whose teacher no more lives. There is no other friend in this world like mindfulness of the body. Sutta Waka on learning. Verse 76. Sususa, Sususa, Sutta Watani, Suttang Panyaya, Watana, Panyaya Atang Janati, Nato Ato Sukawo, Sukawaho. Desire to learn increases learning. Learning makes wisdom increase. But wisdom is the goal known. Knowing the goal brings happiness. And verse 77. Pahu suttang upaseya suttang jana vinasaye tang mulang brahmacharyasa Dasma Tamadarosiya. One should follow the learned man and should not neglect and should not neglect learning. For that is the foundation of the holy life. And therefore be well versed in Dhamma. Verse seventy eight. Bahu Suttang Tamadarang Sapanyang Buddha Sawakang Nekang Jampunadas Ewa Kodang Nintitung Arahati Dewa Bitang Pasang Santi Brahmunapi Pasam Situ Learn it knowing the Dhamma. Truly wise, the Buddha's disciple is like the finest goal of Jambu. Who can find any blame in him? Even the gods sing his praise. Brahma himself sings his praise. And let's read this footnote here on Brahma. It's probably a short explanation of who that is. It says here, Brahma, a high divinity in the ancient Indian pantheon. So there are different Brahmas. 
there is one Brahma who thinks that he is the creator of everything that is, he is pretty deluded. He is the Brahma of the Tawatimsa, heaven. And then there is Brahma like uh, Brahma Sam. Sahampato, which is a high Brahma, who was the one who came and begged the Buddha to share the Dhamma and spread the teachings that he realized, because this Brahma had seen that there would be beings with a little dust in their eyes, and so, in thinking to inspire the Buddha, he presented himself to the Buddha as when he had just become enlightened to show the Buddha the sign of those beings with little dust in their eyes. And so the Buddha decided those beings are fit for training and they too will be able to come to um, realize the Dhamma for themselves and become free from the cycle of rebirth in samsara. And so, in this way, the Buddha decided to teach. And that was just a short little um, story on, on the Brahmas. And let me just uh, get back into this English verse and we will be a little bit more cord up. I'm sorry if I caused a little bit of distraction, so let me just uh, read it again. Learn it knowing the Dhamma. Truly wise, the Buddha's disciple is like the finest gold of Jambu. Who can find any blame in him? Even the gods sing his praise. Brahma himself sings his praise. Apasuto pije huti sile so su samahito sila to nang pasang sana sangti nasa sampajate sutang. If one who has little learning is strong in virtue, others will praise his virtue only because his learning is incomplete. Pahu sutto pichehoti sile su samahito silato nang karahanti dasa sampajate sutang. If one who has much learning is weak in virtue, others will blame him for his conduct, though his learning is complete. Pahu sutto pichehoti. Sile so susamahito upayena nang pasang santi sila to cha sutena cha. But if one has strong, I'm sorry, but if one has much learning and is also strong in virtue, he will be praised for both his virtue and his learning. And verse 82. Pahu sutto apusutang yo suten nati manjati anto pati patarwa tatewa pati pati mang. A learned man who, because of his learning, despises one with little learning seems to me like a stone blind man walking around with a lamp in hand. Das mahi atta hamena mahantang apikantata satamu karukatapo sarang puttanasasanang one who loves his own true welfare, who is concerned with his own good, should pay homage 
to the Dhamma and always remember the Buddha's words. Samma manang panitaya samma vachang appasya samma kamana samma kamani katwana kayena idapukalo Having a rightly directed mind, speaking rightly spoken speech, doing here with the body only deeds that are right and good. Pahu sutto punchikaro apasmi ita jiwite kayase beta sapano sakang so upacha upapachati. Learned doing much that is worthy, even in a life that is short, a wise person such as this will be reborn in a happy place. And that concludes chapter 9 with verse 885 from the Sutta Waka on learning. And now continue into the final chapter for today, the Sawakan, Sawakawaka, the disciple. Oh, I'm sorry, the Sawakawaka, the disciple. Disciple, so I was right the first time. Okay, so chapter 10 Sawakawaka, the disciple, with verse 86 Mattari Pittari Kapi, Yo Samma Patti Pachati, Tatakite Wa Sampute. Tawa dasa sawake pahunja so pasawati punjang etadiso naro. If one behaves rightly toward his mother and his father, towards the Buddha well attained, and the disciples of the Buddha, such a person generates an abundant store of good. Verse 87 Piku cha sila sampano Piku cha pahu sutta Upasako cha yo sato Ya cha sata Upasika ete ko sangha Sopenti ete hi Sankasopana. The monk will possessed of virtue, the nun who is widely learned, male and female lay disciples who are fully endowed with faith. It is they who illuminate the Sankha, lights of the Sankha they are called. And verse 88. Yasa sapamachariso karawo nupalapati arakahoti sattama napang puttawiya yata. One who has no respect for those who live by the holy life with him is as far from this good dhamma as the sky is from the earth. Yasa sapramacariso karawo upalapati su viruhati satame kete pichangwa patakang. One who has respect for those who live the holy life with him comes to grow in this good dhamma like a healthy seed in the field. Tipawo Kim Kaya Chitanghi Susamahite Nananghi Wata 
Manangi Samadamang Vipasanto A woman's nature is unimportant when the mind is still and firm. When knowledge grows day by day and she has insight into Dhamma. Yasa nuna siya ewang Tang puri sotiwa Kichi Wapana Asmiti Tangmaru Watung Arahati One who thinks such thoughts as I am a woman or I am a man or any other thought I am Mara is able to address that one. Verse 92 Tumitehi Pasamsa Cha Vinyuhi Karaha Chakwa Karaha wa se yo winyuhi Yanche palapa samsana The fools offer praise and the wise offer blame. Truly the blame of the wise is much better than the praise of the fool. And verse 93 Sakara anagara cha upo Anjunja nisita Aratayanti satang satamang Yoga kemang Anuttarang Home dwellers and the homeless both, by depending upon each other, come to realize the good Dhamma, the utter freedom from bondage. Anupanto chi, anupanto piche asa, mahicho wa, weka, tawa, echanuko ane jasa, niputasa ane puto, kito so, witta kitasa, pasa ya wancha araka. Though physically close behind. If one is accusative, if one is accusative and restless, how far is that turbulent one from one freed from turbulence, that burning one from one cooled, that hankering one from the greedless? And verse 95 the conclusive verse for this video and the end verse in chapter not chapter 10 i'm sorry on sawakawaka the disciple i'm going to end it off here with verse 95 sukha sankasa samaki samakanang janukaho samakat samakarato Tamato Yoka Kemana Tamsati A happy thing is concord in the Sangha. One who assists in making harmony, loving concord and righteousness, does not fall away from freedom. Sadhu. And one more time. Sadhu. And the last time. Sadhu. And that was chapter 5 to 10 on the gemstones of the Good Dhamma. 
the Satama Maniratana. And to sum up, we just went through the Wachawaka on speech to the Pokawaka on wealth to the Mitatawaka on friendship through the Suttawaka on learning and we um, in ended it off with the Sawakawaka the disciple and so I think that's enough for today and not to uh, drag it out or anything I'm just going to say thank you for listening and let's just try and get a little bit into better view here Oop. and we can just finish it off so thank you so much for listening and I hope that it was interesting and awesome and if you want to read the text for yourself make sure to check out the link in the description and thank you so much for listening I am going to end this episode oops pretty much where we started if I can okay so this is going to work okay so yeah until next time may you all be well happy and peaceful